Hello, uh, Paul Robinson here from uh, Workwear Canada com, bushcraftcanada.com and I'm quickly going to show you um, this uh, one of the new day packs from a company called High Speed. They make a really nice uh, day pack, and uh, I thought I'd quickly show you how one I've got one set up. This one is um, this is how they come. These are all thousand denier cordura, so uh, you know really heavy duty, really well made, very high abrasion resistance. Got a uh, really good strap system here with this gel material, very comfortable. Uh, plenty of um, material here, so you can extend that uh, quite a lot. Uh, but a very comfortable backpack, sits to your body well. It's got this nice bit they call a beaver tail here, which you can again, you've got all these money straps, you can pull this down. You think all these <coughs> money straps here, and then you've got this main compartment with a netted piece. Uh, and more of the uh, molly attachments there. Heavy duty zip all the way around. And then you've got straps at the bottom for, uh, you know, uh, seat and bag, uh, basher, whatever you like. Um, the thing I like about this is, and I'll, you'll, you'll see it a bit better when I show you how mine, I've got this one set up, is that the fact you can kind of <laughs> compartmentalize everything if you like. So what I've got on the outside here, now I've used a lot of Maxpedition uh, packs of these just because they do so many, as such a good variety, but high speed do their own and they're very good. But like on the front here, how I've set this up, uh, on this front piece I've got my um, uh, first aid kit here and any other items you want, you know, easy access to. You can, you can find a, a pouch that's going to fit and attach it to the front there. You simply um, pull this down when you're in the field and then you've got two more. This is my Billy Can Cook Kit, which I use a Maxpedition water bottle. Hold it for, it's a 12 by 5 and inside there I've got, uh, well, I'll show you actually, I've got the um, Crusader cooker, I've then got a, a lid and uh, dish here from the Zebra Billy Can and you've got a 1 litre Maxpedition bottle there, and Billy Can pops out. So it's quite a nice little cook kit there. Um, that fits in here, then I've got another uh, another organizer here, and then in the main compartment, which we can zip, like this, you can pull down. I've then got uh, another couple of uh, uh, pouches here, small Molly system attachment holders here, and then I've got just some candy and stuff, and then I have three of these heavy duty bags, which I always carry. Every one of my packs has one of these, with basically fire, uh, fuel, and food in it. Um, but yeah, the reason I like these is because they're very comfortable, really well made, and uh, you can really arrange things really well in here. Uh, you can get everything you want into pouches and attach the pouches here, so you know where everything is. Um, and then if you want to swap over pouches, you can pull these out and put the other ones in. You've still got plenty of room in this main compartment for clothing and you know bulkier items. But it does make a very good pack. Like I say, I quite like that idea. That you, it come, it's sort of almost like layered. You've got a front and a middle and a, and the main piece there. And uh, you know, you've got very good access to things. And like I say, he's very well made these packs. I've got a couple of other items on the side. I like these rolly Holy um, dump pouches are very useful. In fact, I use one of these for berry picking and stuff. They're, they're ideal for that. And then I've got a, one of these single sheets here with a flashlight on. So I thought I'd uh, quickly show you that. It makes a really good, um, really good pack. And like I say, it's a really good system for organising all your bits and pieces. It tends to be a bit pricey. That's anything because you've got to buy the bag and then you've got to buy all these pouches and, and things. But it, but it does make a very good system. Um, also for this I'm going to get, uh, I think Snug Pack make them, which are um, waterproof uh, covers, which you can carry in here and you can just snap over the top, with just a PU coat uh, nylon, just to make the whole thing waterproof as well. But the high speed packs are uh, excellent, really well made, well stitched, you know, great materials, and uh, I like the design of them, makes them, you know, really uh, flexible, really useful. Uh, you know, you can, you can get to everything easily. And, Care everything you want, and like I say, you can swap stuff in and out as you need it. So, and uh, like I say, super comfortable. I like these gel straps. Actually, they're really, really, very good. And again, you can add stuff onto the onto the uh, 
the main straps here as well. But anyway, all in all, a really good system. And I've only just set this up, so I'll, I'll be using that uh, a bit later on. But uh, yeah, nice. I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, anyway, um, high speed uh, day pack uh, mixed with some Maxpedition pouches and uh, makes a really good, uh, makes a good, really good all round pack. If you need more information, you can always uh, give me an email about it, uh, paul at uh, bushcraftcanada.com, and I'll try and uh, help you out wherever I can. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you that because I haven't seen much of the high speed stuff uh, reviewed, and it is very good stuff. They do make a variety of bags, and uh, like I say, it's day packs, uh, excellent. So yeah, give me an email if you need any more information, but uh, that's it, high speed day pack.